We go to Anthony Massimino Stadium here at Vernon Township High School, and Vernon gets a great chance here to watch Alex Denyer with the blast, but it hits the bar and we have no score. But that changes here. Watch Nick Blizzos with the terrific feed to Denyer, and this time he buries it in the back of the net, and the Vikings have a 1-0 lead over North Warren 13 minutes into the game. Then watch Alex Denyer with another blast, and he hits the crossbar again, and it stays 1-0 Vikings. Denyer was just unlucky, folks. He could add a hat trick. But North Warren ties it up here on the penalty kick from its top player, Xavier Peniagua, with nine minutes to go in the half, and we go to the break tied at one. All right, second half we go, and it's Nick Palizzo's with the shot, and he hits the post, and we stay tied at one. Wow. All right, North Warren gets an opportunity here, but it's Vernon goalie Parker Shade with the stop for the Vikes, and we remain tied at one. But Vernon snaps the tie here. Watch Nick Palizzo's take the feed from Ethan Goodman, and he lets it rip, and Vernon has a 2-1 lead with 17.50 to go here in the second half. And the Vikings make it 3-1 here off the set piece. It's Ethan Goodman with the service, and Chris Ass knocks it in for the goal, and the Vikes are up by two with 14 minutes to go. Pretty goal there. Vernon almost makes it 4-1 here, but watch North Warren keeper Steven Skorpaki with the diving stop for the pass. All right, North Warren's putting on the pressure here to make it a one-goal game, but watch Jake Lally protect the post for the Vikings with a terrific defensive play as Vernon would hold on for a 3-1 opening day victory over North Warren. It's always good to win the opening game because it sets the tone for the beginning of the season. You know, we got two tough games coming up against you know contenders High Point and Newton, and we just want to get the same results against them. It was just a great win all around the bench, the defense, the offense. Everybody played really well. Well, it was solid wins. We played a solid team. Uh, it was a great opening game, for, uh, especially for a home game. Uh, I'm really proud of all the boys, uh, new team. Uh, we played great. It's always good to get the first one out of the way. We knew uh, North Warren was going to be tough. Um, we didn't come out of the scrimmages playing like how we wanted to, so today was a real important test. Uh, like I said, I know North Warren was going to be tough. We have two big league games coming up against High Point and Newton, so it's good to get this one under the belt, get a little experience for some of the guys. Vernon came out in control of most of the play in the first half, took a one nothing lead on a beautiful pass from Nick Palizzos to Alex Denyer. Honestly, I was going to shoot it, but... Um, I saw him making the run, and I just went against my gut, and I passed it to him, and it was, it was a very good goal. I'm very happy he scored, especially on his first varsity game. Game was tied at the half. Xavier Paniagua, the terrific player for North Warren, drew a PK, and he deposited in the back of the net. So Vernon had to come out in the second half and regroup. It stung. It was really hard to give up that PK, especially because, you know, maybe it wasn't, maybe it was. But the um, kid put it in, and we had to keep moving forward. There's no changing the call, and we just have to keep uh, keep shooting, really. Definitely was nervous, and I, I could see the guys tightening up a little bit. They were a little bit too lax, I think, in the beginning, um, which is where our bench came in today, I think. I, th I think a huge advantage was uh, for us was able to take out the starters last 15, 20 minutes of the first half, put in our bench players for a while, give them a blow on this hot day, and then send the starters back out for the second half. Nick Paluzzo said the Vikings had to keep coming out shooting. That's exactly what he did is he got a goal to go with his assist and make it 2-1 to one Vernon. Ethan passed to me, and I, I kind of shot it. I wasn't really trying to put it anywhere. I was just trying to put it on target. Nick's obviously our centerpiece this year. Um, a lot revolves around Nick. He plays up and down the field, gives 120% all the time. Every guy on the field has confidence in him. That he's going to make good decisions, and he just makes things happen. Vernon's had to replace most of his defense, including stalwart Cody Barch, who was back there for many, many years. Goalie Eamon Logue, but Jake Lally and the rest of the Vernon defense only gave up the one goal, and it was on a set piece off the penalty kick. We lost like three out of the four starters last year, which is tough, but I mean, we have such a great program and such great depth that we could always fill in spots whenever we lose players. The heat and humidity was a story today here at Massarino Stadium. The referees did a good job at the 20-minute mark of the first and second half. They got water breaks, keep everyone hydrated, but still, it was a tough draw today. I got a shout it out to the uh, to the subs this game. They they came in, they gave us the breather that we needed, and I also got to say a shout out to um, the players that were out there because they really, if they were tired, they they played it off very well. They played very hard. We're lucky that it was like 20-minute quarters um, because if it was full halves, it would have been so it would have been a totally different game. Uh, the, you know, the water breaks huge. Uh, even one of the kids brought watermelon slices. <laughs> it really, really helps you uh, when you're dying out there. But, uh, yeah, the fitness plays a big part in it. Although this was a crossover game, Vernon starting its new career, as you want to call it, in the Freedom Division. And the Vikings are excited, but they know it's going to be no easy task with High Point, Newton, Lenape Valley, and Hackettstown. New division, it may be 
easier, but in my opinion, I think this is just going to be a bigger challenge for us, and it's something we got to conquer. They're all exceptional teams. We played High Point a few years ago, and they were really good. We played Newton last year, and we ended up tying them, and they're, they're just both great teams. It's going to be a gauntlet. It really is. You know, at first look when I said, oh, we're out of uh, our former division, we are out of Mount Olive's way, and then I saw who we were with, and it's new in High Point, like you said, uh, Lenape and Hackettstown. You know, there's not going to be an easy game to be had there. First varsity game for Alex Denyard. He had had the goal, but he also hit a couple of posts. He said that's something he's going to work on. Scored a good, good goal, good opening goal. Uh, for the ones with the posts, I just got to keep working in practice um, to make them go in the net.